many many losses have been more bitter than today. Chris for you. Matthews. Yeah, it's it's pretty disappointing. I mean, probably one of the biggest letdowns we've had this year. We uh, both sides of the ball, we felt we like we had a great game plan against them. Uh, we saw a lot of things that we could exploit with them, and. Uh, you know, I, I, I can tell you that I don't think we're the worst team here. I think we just didn't execute. They played better, and, um, you know, hats off to them. They played good. How much did the fumble on the goal line change your confidence and momentum and everything? Uh, momentum, it definitely hurt. But confidence, it's just I don't think it really affected that. We definitely needed those points. So that's just one thing you can't do down there. Um, uh, obviously, it's just a, a miscue by Derek. Went a little bit wide, but uh, I, I got to realize that. And, make something out of nothing and just, uh, you know, pull the ball away, take a loss instead of a turnover. So um, it, it's just a terrible situation for us right there. Definitely needed those points, but we definitely needed the field goal too. So uh, it, it works both ways. So, you know, the biggest thing we can do is just make sure it doesn't happen next time. And, um, you know, it, it's just tragic for something like that to happen. Mike, how do you sum up this season? Joker called it the, the season of missed opportunities. Uh, I mean, he, he, he's not wrong. It's definitely – you know, there, there was definitely games um, that we could have won, we should have won. Um, we were a better team at, but we just didn't necessarily play better. And um, that's just a big thing. You know, I don't think, um, besides execution, I don't think they really stopped us much on, de on defense this, uh, this game. So this season was, uh, you know, it, it was tough. It, it was a lot of missed opportunities, but the good thing is we're in the postseason and we got something to look forward to. It's just, um, um, it's just that certain point of getting over the hump and. Um, hopefully it can come for these guys in the future. Talk about, you know, you can look back at the old Miss game, maybe even Tennessee. How much, how difficult is it to lose teams that you feel like you, you could be better? It, it's, it's really frustrating. There's no, anybody can tell you. It's, uh, it, it's hard to it's hard to do, and especially to lose close games to teams you probably shouldn't beat. Um, uh, you know, for like Auburn or whatever. So it, that's even, you know even tougher. But um, to, to feel like we're the better team and to come up short, you know, it, it's obviously worse than uh, – people might think, especially towards our team. And um, this is something that, this is a perfect scenario of what we're talking about. Mike, you guys, even all that said with the fumble early, you're down at halftime despite dominating time of possession, yardage, all that stuff. You come out and you get a touchdown to begin the second half. I feel like you felt like you were in a pretty good position. Yeah, we still had a lot of confidence going into halftime. I mean, it's compared to some of the deficits we've had at halftime, it's only a touchdown. So we, we were feeling good. Um, Try to get something right there before half. It uh, didn't work out just to get a little bit of momentum. But, um, you know, we, we had a strong sense of we're still in this game. We don't really feel like we've been stop, you know, stopping ourselves. So as long as we just keep executing, not make, uh, not, not have any dumb penalties, and um, just take, keep making positive plays, you know, we're going we're gonna to drive the field. It's just uh, um, we left one too many drives out there today. You've been around for five of these losses with Tennessee and the streak. I mean, do you think back and just go, you know, how in the world – did we lose all those games? Because in a lot of them, you've been right there, or had the opportunity, or, or had the same comments about we thought we were the better team, and one or two mistakes here or there. Well, I think it just it needs to get back to the point where this is a huge Kentucky Tennessee rivalry game. You know, they've had our number before I've got here. You know, countless times where it wasn't really much of a rivalry game. There was always so much better. We we weren't very good at all. And as long as we get our guys in the mentality to where you know this is a fist fight, we can come out and we we play this game. It's, it's it, we need to. This is one of the biggest games of the year, no matter where it's at on the schedule. You know, we need to beat Tennessee. It's our crosstown rivalry. We need to beat them. And um, I think until it gets that way and everybody understands, you know, how important this game is not only to this program but to the big blue nation that, um, you know, we always might come up short a little bit. It's just, uh, you know, those little things right there and just the, the attitude the entire game, pregame, week before, two weeks before, that's where it needs to be. You've changed so many of the, the streaks and, and the perceptions and all that with teams that you've beaten. Mm -hmm. How much does it eat at you? This is the one you'll have not just just have not been able to get that one that one play here or there. It just eats. I think that's just that's the best way to put it. It just eats at you. You know, you really come into the season. You really want to beat Louisville. Started off at a good point. You want to beat the teams in the SEC to put your chance in the best position to play in the, East, or in the SEC championship, go to a bowl game, but. Obviously, this one at the end of the year, everybody knows the ins and outs of this game, what it means if you win, what it means when you lose, how, to, how it feels both ways. And, you know, it, it just wears out. I'm, now we have to wait a whole another year to try to get, get the number again. So um, it's tough for these guys that come back and have to come uh, play with them. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Mike, if somebody told you before the year with how experienced you guys are, your skill players, that you would have had so many turnovers in these SEC games, would you, what would you have said? Uh, I would have said I wouldn't know. Uh, you know, it's, it's 
that's what football is. Football is a game of turnovers. It's a big, it's a big aspect of the game, and um, people are going to have them. Uh, it's just, um, you know, it's 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 tough to handle. It's tough to go in and think that you know we're playing focused, playing good, and then next thing you know, a turnover happens. Whether you know where it's at on the field, how sound it may be in the game, um, it's a huge difference maker. So. Uh, um, it, but at the same time, you know what happens. It's football, and you, you got to move on. You got to deal with it. But you know, like you said, having so many, it's, it definitely makes it harder, to, uh, harder to win. Speaking of turnovers, what happened on the interception? Um, you know, I, I got a lot of uh, communication from Chris the whole game that uh, he was having success out there one on one, and uh, in the play we call, we knew we had a setup for him to go one on one, and um, I think he maybe got a little confused on the route or what he was supposed to do. But uh, you know, it was one of those scenarios where. Uh, I probably could have done a little bit better in uh, working the free safety down the middle of the field, but uh, just just getting up there, give him a chance again, and uh, uh, overthrew it a little bit. So it was miscues on both of our parts, but I thought we had a good chance right there. He's a big, strong guy. He can go up and make plays like he did uh, on that first drive down the middle of the field. So um, I wouldn't say it was a, a bad look to give him a chance to throw the ball. It's just got to throw a little better. He's got to make a little better uh, route.